somebody asked me a question why did saturn trick me so bad <laughs> yes it happens it has happened with me and i'm very sure it has happened with you and so many watching this video maybe some of your friends and relatives or family members shani maharaj tricks us sometimes oh but rahu was the planet which tricks us always right who tricks us nonetheless no maleficus can trick us sometimes and saturn whoever he is however he is exalted debilitated combust retrograde direct in mahapurush yoga in kendra or in dustan irrespective of that he was he is and he will be a natural malefic do not forget that <laughs> now why i am saying like this does it mean i am very pessimistic no i am not see you have to understand sometimes people uh, they think oh i have exalted saturn is life's great <laughs> your life may be great but it's a malefic so you will have to struggle and get through it malefics don't give you things easy they only give you a lot after a lot of struggle okay and life becomes actually easy when you understand this because then you lower your expectations when you are in dashas of malefics otherwise you keep raising the bars and then boom <laughs> you get it in your face and then you are wondering what in the universe did just happen to me and my life so the question is why does saturn trick us sometimes and how can saturn trick us yes saturn can sometimes trick you it's not that rahu trick you know rahu's trick is different rahu's trick is very much external he can rahu can tri uh, trick you by thinking that externally you will achieve something very big or uh, rahu can give you illusion that something which you know deep down inside uh, will not manifest rahu will tell you no it will <laughs> because jupiter and rahu are very similar sometimes mm -hmm. interesting but today's topic is about saturn okay so saturn's trick is different saturn can sometimes trick you if saturn is badly placed in the horoscope okay now how do you know if saturn is badly placed if you get these kind of tricks during dashas of saturn then your saturn may not be that well placed okay it's actually not cheating but the thing is uh, you are not able to understand your saturn that's what people call as a trick of saturn okay it's not actually a trick so what is this so called trick of saturn saturn how does it trick you is in the beginning he might make you a bit complacent and he may give you this feeling that's why they say when the first phase of sare sati comes you know it's like uh, the warning phase okay so in my knowledge i have seen whenever there is an antar dasha of saturn the first pratyantar should i repeat whenever there is an antar dasha of saturn so you know there are concepts like mahadasha antar dasha pratyantar dasha okay so if you are talking of saturn mahadasha then you take the first antar dasha of saturn okay and if you are talking of any random mahadasha and within that saturn antar dasha then you take the first pratyantar which will also be of saturn so during that time so suppose you are running you know uh, sun saturn for example uh, then you have to check if in the first pratyanta which is sun saturn saturn did life give you some hints that certain things are not the way you want it to be did life give you certain indications and uh, you were still complacent <laughs> was there a voice inside you which said that oh yeah actually you know it's okay you will do it it's not that bad after all <laughs> and i have i have seen this people uh, more uh, this in this area i have seen uh, when it comes to relationships people have more suffering not so much in career but suppose you are having a fake relationship with somebody fake means not only uh, relationship doesn't mean only with uh, you know your spouse it can be with anything and any, anybody uh, your your friend may fake friendship <laughs> so whenever the first pratyantar or antar of saturn comes uh, you will see that there are certain things you will get a inner voice it always happens i've seen bang on with all the people 
always irrespective of how Saturn is. Now to the extent your Saturn is good in the house, to that extent you will be able to understand what Saturn is telling. To the extent Saturn is spoiled in your house, to that extent you will be confused and you will think that that's it, life's great. Now does life have to be bad always in Saturn's period? No, not necessarily. What I mean to tell you here is that <clears throat> certain things during the Dasha of Saturn, they are taken away from us. I had made a video on does Saturn delay or uh, no, the name of that video was uh, Saturn delays but never denies. Is it true or false? <laughs> so in that video I said uh, it depends on your horoscope and the overall placements by which it will be decided if Saturn delays something or he completely denies it. So therefore, uh, when Saturn's time comes, which means Dasha's, then you always have to keep a watch on yourself because Saturn is the Karma Karaka. He is the uh, Lord of the original 10th sign, Capricorn. Okay? So therefore, during Saturn, see, you have to understand what Saturn is actually, who Saturn is. Saturn is ruling Capricorn. Capricorn is the 10th house where the sun is uh, in Digbala. Okay? Not exactly the 10th house, but it is the place where everything is exposed. That's what Capricorn is. People say that when, you know, Chala Dasha of Capricorn is there or, you know, when a planet is in Capricorn and the Dasha gets active, life becomes very hard. Why? Have you ever asked this question? Why in the universe that happens? Why? This is the reason because whenever a planet is in Capricorn, it is behaving as if it's in the 10th house. And what happens in the 10th house? Sun and Mars gets directional strength. Now, does it mean that any planet in Capricorn is great for your career? Well, necessarily not. I'm not saying from a house perspective, but even if you see from a house perspective, Sun gets Digbali there, which means you are fully accountable by the 12 Sakshis. That's the meaning of the 10th house and Capricorn. The 12 Sakshis, you know, the Devatas, the Paramatma, the directions, you know, there are 12 Sakshis. If you know them, please write it down in the comments. Sakshis are witnesses. Many times people think that they will uh, run away from the government or the police or from some legal, maybe from tax. But then, there are many other witnesses which the scriptures say, which always keep seeing us. Okay, So they are always seeing me. They are always seeing you. They are seeing what you are doing now. They are seeing what I am doing now. Okay, So <clears throat> these witnesses, uh, they keep a note of what we are doing. So during Capricorn or Saturn, you are fully under witness. It's like you are on a CCTV camera all the time. Either you are sleeping, you are taking bath, you are Whatever you are doing, you are under CCTV surveillance 24 by 7. Okay, And that is why life gets very difficult during these periods. Why? Because when you are under surveillance, what happens? Now, you may not know. If an ordinary person who doesn't know that Saturn Dasha is going on, he may not know that you know surveillance is going on. But what happens is, imagine it's full light in the morning. You know, the sun is rising. So what happens that time? You see everything. So similarly what happens during periods of a planet in Capricorn, Dasha's, okay, or Saturn, you can see all the weaknesses that you have. That's what happens. So if your Saturn is well placed, you will get that uh, knowledge from within how to deal with these weaknesses. Otherwise, if Saturn is not well placed, then you will feel that uh, you will ignore, you know, procrastinate. Procrastination is Saturn actually. So that's the answer. Does Saturn uh, give you procrastination? You know? Then if you have procrastination, then it's very deadly. You have to improve your Saturn. Okay? And then the question is, how do you do that? Well, you have to have some basic discipline in your life. You should do some uh, mantras in the morning, do some yoga or some pranayam in the morning, then be disciplined, not be distracted. Okay, Be focused in life, try your best, 
be hard working hard working doesn't mean you work 24 hours a day that's not what hard work is hard work simply means do one thing at a time when you are uh, with your spouse be with your spouse when you are with your father be with your father when you are with your children be with your children don't keep doing 10 things at a time you don't achieve anything by that so that's a simple definition of hard work be, being in the present hard work means i am fully putting myself into it into this person or into this thing or whatever you call it okay so therefore uh, that's the way you know when saturn can trick you okay so actually he doesn't trick but he can give you a feeling that you can keep delaying things okay why that happens because even though uh, capricorn is active now but because your saturn is so badly smashed uh, you cannot see even if there is light it's like darkness <laughs> who procrastinates one who is in darkness because and uh, which is the most frequent thing which we delay procrastinate yes that is our spiritual practices therefore the first thing you should do in the morning after taking a bath is you should do your spiritual practices without fail every day I promise you, if you fail to do your spiritual practices in the day, your whole day will be ruined. Just check it. Don't, don't, don't try. But if it happens somehow, then you will see how your day goes. If you are doing a particular number of mantras and some other prayers and some other practices in the morning, due to some reason, suppose you skip it one day. Okay? Then you see how your day goes. It's the worst day of your life. You mind, your mind won't be controlled, you won't be able to focus, you will be cranky, moody, irritated all the time for no good reason or no bad reason. You'll just be frustrated. Just try it someday. <laughs> Don't try it, but if it happens, then you see how it goes. Okay, And you see next day how difficult it is to bring those things in order. So the biggest way to tackle a bad Saturn is to do your uh, spiritual practices in the morning, preferably in the Brahma Muhura, to one and a half hours before sunrise. Okay, which means you got to sleep early. You cannot uh, sleep late. <laughs> all right, that will be all from my side. If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it below and some other videos on Saturn. I'll put it here. And if you want a consultation, please go to my website below, right? God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And he will help you deal with the pathetic Saturn, okay? <laughs>